your wildest questions. And I'm not just going to be answering the boring questions like, what's your favorite color? What's your favorite food? Which, by the way, like everybody asks me, those on the stupid dating app, that's all they keep asking me. But we're going to be answering wild questions. And when I say wild, I mean wild. I'm not just like sugarcoating it. I mean wild. What was the most embarrassing moment of your life? Well, the most embarrassing moment of my life was probably number one, fainting on my crush, and probably number two, um, having the therapy session in front of my school and like going on the 10 minute rant about how my life was in shambles. I just felt like that was kind of unnecessary of me, you know? I think I was just holding a lot in, and but I just let it out, and I just think it was kind of unnecessary. Aren't you early? Yes, I am early because it's Wild Wednesday, and I tried to prank everybody that I was quitting music, and I could only go two minutes, and it didn't work. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. Yeah, I tried. I'm bad at pranking. I'm so bad at pranks, but we have more pranks coming today because – it's Wild Wednesday. Are you happy today without any relationship? I am happy without any relationship because I think it's so important to be happy without a relationship. You know what I mean? Who's your favorite Smurf? I don't know the Smurf names, to be honest. My hair is wild today. Oh my gosh, my hair is always wild, so I feel you. I have a random strand on my face that is shorter than the rest of my hair. Oh my gosh, I can see how that would happen. Yeah, hair can be so weird. Hair can be so wild. It just goes everywhere. What is the song Already There about? Already There is about making the first move and like not being afraid to make the first move. And it's like basically like what I did on the dating app when we did the lyric prank, like really putting yourself out there and being like, hey, I like you. It was kind of like a fantasy of like what I wish that I did with that guy when he called me cute and quirky. Like part of me is like, maybe I should have just like confessed my crush to him, you know? Although maybe I shouldn't have. That may have been a bad idea and would have ended in a lot of rejection for me. Probably would have. I'm very used to being rejected, so. Yeah. Has anyone ever humiliated you? Yes, I've been humiliated so many times in my life. But here's the thing, being humiliated is very hard, but I do think it builds character. You know, I think it builds character, and I also think that it makes you a stronger person. So, yeah. What is the craziest thing that's ever happened to you in a mall? In a mall. Well, one time when I was three, this is super embarrassing, but I remember when I was three, and I feel like this happens to a lot of little kids, so don't judge me, but the thing happened where I was with somebody, and there was an escalator, and then, like, they go on the escalator, and I was scared of escalators. I was three, so keep in mind, I was three, I was three, I was three, so, like, they went down the escalator, and then I was, and then I couldn't go on the escalator so I missed them and so then I was up here like stuck on the escalator and then I started like crying and then like a store clerk had to like help me down the escalator because I couldn't go down an escalator by myself that's super embarrassing but I was three okay I was three I was a toddler don't judge me I can do I can go down an escalator by myself just fine now what is the meanest thing you have done? What's the meanest thing I've done? What is the meanest thing I've done? I've, I've tried to not do anything too mean. I really have tried to not do anything too mean. But the meanest thing that I've ever done, probably like breaking up with somebody, which is hard. And like, but I feel like I don't necessarily regret it because I feel like I had to cut myself off from that relationship, which, because I felt really guilty for doing it. Like I felt so guilty um, for breaking up with them, 
but I had to. I had to. One of my friends has a literal phobia of escalators, so I always have to take the steps with her. Escalators can be scary, you know? I mean, luckily, I'm totally over my escalator fear now, but, like, it took me, like, probably till I was, like, five, so it took me a while. It happens, you know, because you're just, like, you know, it's, they're so, here's the thing. It was just, for me, it was getting on. It wasn't actually riding the escalator, but getting on the escalator to go down. I could always go up, but getting on it to go down was always just a little difficult, just a little bit. Worst rumor or gossip you said or repeated and at the end of the day wasn't true. Hmm, kind of have to think about that. I, I can't really remember. Well, I've had that happen to me. One time, um, one girl, like, started this rumor, and this is, like, super TMI. Are you scared of snakes? Yeah, I am. But one time, like, this girl started this rumor that I started my period at school when I didn't. And she, like, started a room for literally no reason. And, like, spread it around the whole school. And I was like, girl, that literally didn't happen. Did you get me confused with somebody else? Or were you, like, trying to embarrass me or something? It was really weird. But that's all I can think of. It was weird. What's your wildest fantasy? My wildest fantasy, here's my wildest fantasy. My wildest fantasy is the guy who I talked about today in the relationship story, like coming back to me and confessing his love with me and us being together and living happily ever after and collaborating and making music together. That's absolutely incredible. That is my wildest fantasy. Goals. That's never going to happen, but goals. Goals. Goals, goals, goals. Uh, one time I was walking in front of her and went on it. Oh, and okay, the bottom, I looked up, and she was still standing at the top and made me go back down the escalator with her at the bottom. That's what happened to me at the mall. That's what happened to me at the mall. It's crazy. Oh, hey, Haley, thank you for joining. Hope you're having a great day. Happy Wild Wednesday. Things are getting wild. If you could be invisible, what naughty things would you do? Here's what I would do. I would want to be invisible, and I'd want to be in, like, rooms with people, and I'd want to know what they actually think about me. Like, their uncanny opinions of me and, like, what they really think. And I'd want to, like, find a way to ask them questions questions like do you hate Caroline do you think she's like the worst person ever do you think she's really annoying like I would I would really want to know that I would really want to know that that's probably what I do but that's not really a naughty thing that's what I would do or I would just spy on people I guess a couple people and see what they're doing make lunch with me what should I make what should you make hmm what should you make well, it depends what you're in the mood for. Um, like maybe a well-balanced meal. Get some protein in there. Get some fats in there. Maybe a veggie, a fruit, all the color of the rainbow. Keep it balanced. Favorite musical? My favorite musical is Legally Blonde. Because like, hello. Obviously. <laughs> Although I'm not blonde, so, but, like, the pink. I mean, like, I'm talking about the pink because I'm not blonde. Although, like, I want to be blonde so bad. I really want to dye my hair blonde, like, more than anything. I just want to be blonde. I just want to be blonde. That's all I want in life. Like, that's the only thing I want. But see, here's the thing. If I dye my hair fully blonde, which I really want to do and I tried to do, then I would have to, like, dye it all the time. And, like, even my blonde's going away. Like, I'm not even blonde anymore. Where's the blonde? I want to be blonde. Ugh. Whatever. So, whatever. Ugh. 
What is the coolest animal you've ever seen in the wild? Well, I've seen a coyote. Oh, I've seen a bobcat. I've seen some bobcats multiple times, which is like crazy. I love Lulu Gone too. Yes, it's the best. Mine is hairspray, although I'm blonde. Honestly, hairspray is a close second for me. Like a close second. I love hairspray. It has the best songs. Oh, by the way, I'm doing a hairspray medley soon because I love the songs. I love them. Like Good Morning Baltimore. Or I Can Hear the Bells. I Can Hear the Bells is like my theme song to life whenever I have a crush. Um, the blonde is at Walmart. Oh my gosh. That's cool. I want to be blonde so bad. I wish I was blonde. Like honestly, people who are born naturally blonde don't even understand how lucky they are. Oh, I'm like, oh my gosh, I wish I was you. What is the last thing you search for online? The last thing I search for online. I don't know. Let me see. Let me look at my history. <laughs> the last thing that I searched online is disco songs that everybody knows because um, I'm working on a medley that I'm going to be posting tomorrow, which basically tomorrow is going to be Try New Things Thursday. So I'm going to try to do a medley singing a song in every single different genre. And one of the genres is disco, but I couldn't think of a disco song to sing. So I looked up disco songs everybody knows. So that's the last thing I searched online. I wish I was more blondie too. I know. I know. OMG, I just ate a whole tin of shortbread. I'm so Irish. Oh my gosh, I'm Irish too. Twins. Twins. Brunettes are way more prettier than blondes. Yeah, I had brunettes are gorgeous and I think being brunette is gorgeous definitely and there have been times I go in and out of my blonde obsession because I do have times where I'm like you know what I love being brunette and I don't need to be blonde you know there's beauty in being brunette for sure both are beautiful both are totally beautiful um have you ooh, have you ever made out with somebody who said you're a bad kisser I haven't and I hope that I hope that never happens because that'd be so sad. Do you think you're a good kisser? I don't know. Probably not. I don't know. How many people have you kissed? I've only kissed two people. I know. Um, I mean, I don't think that's bad. I think two people is like pretty good. So yeah. How would you rate your looks on a scale from one to 10? Who? How would I rate my looks on a scale from number 10? I'm going to give myself a six. I'm gonna, yeah, I'll give myself a six. Caroline knows better, but she's already there. She wants to know if people are against us and said that we should break up when she found out he was cheating. Yes, if he is cheating, we should definitely break up because I don't stand for that. That's a betrayal. I saw a quote today and it said, when people show you who they are, believe them. And it's very true. Don't betray me. I don't like the feeling of betrayal. It's very sad. Anyways, let's see. Oh, are you confident? I think I'm pretty confident. I don't think I'm like overly confident. And I think obviously everybody has insecurities. But I think like every single person has insecurities ever. So I would say I'm pretty confident, I think. Ish. Depends on the day. Depends on the hour. Depends on the minute, you know? I have a disco every night. Oh my gosh, I turn the lights off and do gymnastics and dance. That sounds so fun. Oh my gosh, I actually have disco lights. I need to bring them out for a live sometime soon because it's like so fun. Let me tell you something. It is a party in a pocket. It makes the whole thing a party. Like disco lights, oh my gosh, disco balls. Disco balls are so cool. Like they're just so iconic. Oh my gosh, a pink glitter disco ball. How cool would that be? That would be my dream. Yoga with Caroline. Yes, yoga. Yoga. 
I have too many insecurities. It depends on the month. This month is being too quirky. Oh, never be um, insecure about being quirky. I think being quirky is like so such a special trait and i've been called quirky a lot too but it's a very special trait and it's very awesome and it makes you unique and it makes you you and a lot of times your insecurities are what makes you special and what makes you different and you know it's fun to be different you know like if everybody was the same life would be so boring oh i forgot to mention i play music sometimes oh i love that even Hairspray songs. Hairspray has the best songs. And act and sing. And yes, I have a disco ball too. You have a disco ball? That is so iconic. That sounds like the best time in the world. Like that sounds like so fun. I can't even imagine anything more fun than that. Do you sing when no one is around? Well, yeah. Whenever I like film my medleys, I just like am singing by myself. So yeah. Do you dance alone when no one is around? I do. That's like the best time to dance. It's the best time to dance is when you dance by yourself, you know? Because then you can just really like let go, do whatever you want, do whatever dance move you want. It's best. It's best. Wait, I play music all the time in my disco. I love your disco. Your disco seems like so cute. I love it. Like so cute. I love it. I'm obsessed with it. Uh, do you take a lot of selfies? Hmm. I do, but, like, not because I'm obsessed with myself or because I, like, just want to take a lot of selfies. I take a lot of selfies for thumbnails, for videos. So that's mainly why I take selfies. I've been taking more selfies lately because, like, for thumbnails, you know? Because I'm trying to, like, up my thumbnail game and, like, make my thumbnails good. And so I need the selfie. The reaction shot. But here's the thing, like, I don't take, like, I don't take, like, cute selfies, though. Like, I don't, like, I'm not, like, ooh, girl, I'm feeling myself today. Or, like, oh, how good I look. I more take selfies, like, <gasps> like, you know. That was embarrassing, but it's true. That kind of strained my eye, ow. Um, do you like being the center of attention? I hate being the center of attention. I know that might seem weird because it may seem like I like to be the center of attention, but I hate being the center of attention. And like, I hate having attention on me because it always makes me feel uncomfortable. And like, sometimes I'm like, I just want to be invisible and hide. Like, please, nobody ever pay attention to me. Can you say hi, Wendy, to my mom? Of course. Hi, Wendy. Hope you're having a great day. By the way, your daughter is like so awesome. And the fact that she does rhythmic gymnastics is so cool. And she has an awesome personality. Hope you have an amazing day. Um, do you have a crush? Well, later today we are going to go on the dating app and I'm going to give you a little update and you will see if I have a crush. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be wild. Because it's Wild Wednesday. Yo, Valentine's Day is coming up. I know. Here's the thing. It's like I'm so torn about it because I'm so excited for it to be Valentine's Day. But, like, I'm kind of sad about it because I don't want it to end. You know, like, I'm going to be so sad on Monday when it's February 15th and, like, Valentine's Day is over. Because I'm, like, Valentine's Day is, like, my life. And it's all I want. Who's yours? I don't have a Valentine, although I might. You'll see what's happening on the dating app. A lot of things are happening. And you're going to want to switch over to YouTube on my YouTube live because I'm going to have to get off Instagram to do the update to read you what's happening on the dating app. And it's getting, I can't believe this. I didn't mean for this to happen. This was like a joke. I went on to basically promote my type. And then, like, I don't know what's happening. And now, like, Two guys have asked me on dates, and I don't know what to do. It's weird. I don't even know. I don't know what's happening. Who are you the most jealous of? I'm probably the most jealous of anybody who's, like, naturally a blonde. Because I'm like, aww, 
I wish I was naturally blonde. You don't have to dye your hair blonde. I wish I didn't have to dye my hair blonde. But it's not good to be jealous. You know what I mean? It's not. Have you ever edited a picture of yourself to make yourself look skinnier? I actually haven't done that.